Hello everyone. Welcome back to SFTC Panther. This is Amit and in this video we are going to talk about what is quick text in Salesforce and how we can implement this. So before we go ahead and actually start implementing quick text, if you have not subscribed the channel, please go ahead to subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification for all the upcoming videos that we are going to post. Now let's quickly start with quick text. Quick text basically used to save the time for your service representatives or your sales representatives while they are chatting with the customers, they are trying to send an email, they are trying to log a call or they are also working with the knowledge articles. We can also say that quick text are some predefined functions or we say that predefined content which we are using. We means our sales and service representatives are using based on our uh, based out of their daily routine. So what we will do is we will put those common text inside an object called quick text and then our sales representatives or service representatives can use them easily and they don't need to type the same thing again and again. So what we need to do is we are going to enable the quick text for the very first thing and once we have got uh, once we have enabled the quick text we are going to create the quick text and have the things and we are also going to see the demo as well so to enable the quick text what you need to do is navigate to the setup and from the setup you need to search for quick text settings and once you will get this quick text settings under user interface just select that and it is going to by default, it might show you like this where your enable quick text toggle is off. You just need to turn this on. If this is already turned on, you don't need to worry about that. If you want to create multiple folders and store your quick text inside those multiple folders, for example, you wanted to store quick text related to the case object inside another folder, related to the case email responses into another folder. So you can just go ahead and click on this checkbox and then click on save. Once you have enabled this, next step is you will get a new object called quick text inside your Salesforce, which is again an standard object. So go to the object manager, search for quick text, and select your quick text over here. Go to the page layout. What we are going to do is we are going to modify the page layout and add the folder. So what we will do is let's quickly modify and add this folder. There is a one field called folder because we have enabled that checkbox for organizing into the multiple folders. So if you enable that, you will see there is a field called folder. Go ahead and drag and drop the folder inside your Lightning page layout and then go ahead save it. Once you have saved it, go to the fields and relationship. Suppose that you have got multiple categories like FAQ, greetings, response, knowledge articles. So you can just go to the field and relationship, find a field called category. And by default, we have got three fields, okay, three values. We can also have like email response. So we can say that email and then save it. If you have like chat, you can also have those over here. So we have got now four categories. Next thing is that we need to create folders and quick text within those folders so what you will do is just go to the different tab from the app launcher search for quick text and you will see the outcome like this so a screen like this you might not see the quick text because i have created this text first thing that we will do is we'll create a folder so that we can organize our quick text inside those folders so we'll say that case email response now we have got our folder which is case email response. Now we are going to create a new quick text. So what we will do is we will have some simple quick text. We will say that I customer name and then we will say that my name is this and I have taken the ownership of this case. Relate. We can also insert merge fields. So we will say that let's quickly say case. We wanted to have a case number over here and insert it. So we will say that what we will say that dear customer. My name is and I have taken the ownership. So what I have said is I have uh, written over here saying dear customer. 
my name is this and i have taken the ownership of the case we'll get back to you if anything is needed thanks and records we need to put the username so we will say here user and then we can select full name from the user this is called on find full name insert it and you will find this full name so you can have that full name over here and then you can have that full name over here as well so now you have got your quick text which is ready to use you can select category suppose that email then you can select the folders i'm going to select folder which i have created case email response select folder now you can see here you have got portal phone internal event task knowledge and email so if you don't see all of these the reason is you have to enable knowledge articles you have to enable email to case to see the email you have to have the communities enabled for the portals and then phone and all these things are there so i'm going to select event task email is already there you can also do the preview let's quickly do that so once you click on preview you will be seeing like this preview text if you have some recipient you can also have recipient suppose that we are we are going to have a recipient i'm going to select end of rank related to let's select case and we can have any case let's say happy something as soon as you click on preview you will be able to see that these merge fields has been changed like name case number and the username as well so if you wanted to change the name over here saying that uh, let's quickly say we wanted to have contact name so we'll say contact and uh, we'll try to find out what is a full name so we'll say that we've got contact name and In instead of customer we'll try to see we'll try to put the contact name again try to preview it so that we can quickly go ahead and test it and now you can see here we've got this end of rank and all these things so we are like good we don't need to worry about that anything now so we'll go ahead and click on save this is a very first quick text that we have created so you might have some other quick text you wanted to create like for sending the email notification regarding some information that you need from the customer kind of things definitely your customer is going to provide you what sort of quick text they are going to use and this is very useful while you are working with service cloud now next thing what we will do is we will quickly get back to our case object okay so we'll go to the case you can open any case record over here whatever we have suppose that let's say end of rank this is the case page layout that i have created and you can see here under feed section i can see log a call email update a case so if you don't see these actions what you need to do is you need to go to the case page layout and then add these actions as a lightning and mobile quick action so to do that you can again go to the object manager click on case page layout find out which is the case page layout that you are using over here under the detail page click on this case case layout this is what i am using you if you are using some other you can use that as well then select mobile and lightning quick actions and add those over here like you have got email you have got log a call you can have those you have got new case you can you can have some sort of uh, new note you can also have that you have new task you can add these and then go ahead and click on either quick save or save so you once you have done this you again need to refresh this to see the actions inside the feed so that you can use that quick text so now you can see i have got multiple actions like email log a call two times and then got new case new task so if i click on new task okay and if you scroll down or uh, we don't have the description for the task we'll go to the log a call and once you click on this comment you see that there is a Message icon. If you click over here, you will be able to see there is one sample which is saying that case sample. This is the quick text that you have created, and you also have some quick text like case initial response. So you you can go to here. Okay, we don't have that under the folders. We have got this. If you select this, you can see that the message case number and whatever the message we have given over here, we got it. If you go to the email, okay. Under the email, there is a body. If you let this open, okay, yeah, we have got this body. You see here, this is the quick text you have got. If you click over here, you can see there is 
all the click tests you are able to see. So if you select case initial response and you will be able to see that this response is already inside your case and case email body and you can do, do that. And for this quick text you can also use like there are some shortcuts for this quick text for these shortcuts we have got for Windows and Mac these are the different different shortcuts you can see here if we are in Salesforce classic Mac or Windows Windows OS oh yes, we need to put uh, like uh, semicolon twice and if we are in lightning experience we need to use command plus dot for Mac OS oh yes, and control plus dot for Windows OS. Oh yes. So if you are here you don't want it to click here what you can do is just use control dot and you will be able to see all these quick actions. So you can again select greeting and as soon as you select greetings those will also be there on the top of your case email and then you can just click on send. So this is how quickly you can use your case uh, like quick text and your user can easily use this quick text for uh, uh, basically increasing the productivity or we say that for boosting the productivity of their own and as an admin you can set up all these things you can also share the folders for the quick text as we have created the folders so if you wanted to share the quick text folders with some of the users you can just go ahead again go to the quick text folder sorry quick text tab and once you are there in the quick text tab you go to the all folder section and then you can share this folder if you wanted to share this you just go ahead and share with the appropriate user and then these user can just go ahead and have either they wanted to edit or they wanted to manage they can also add the quick text for that as well so there are few things few permissions which are required in order to create the quick actions for that i have put that over here there is a help article provided by salesforce so you can just go ahead and have a look into those permissions which are required for creating a quick actions because if you are not an admin and you wanted to give the permission to a user to create a quick action you have to make sure that you are having these permissions so that user can create the quick text so this is all about how you can create a quick text and how you can use that quick text inside salesforce environment thank you for your time and uh, before you go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel. Thank you.